now. Hey guys, what's up? Pickle P here, and welcome back to Pickle P Reviews. So today we are going to be doing a review for the episode Back to the Barn, Steven Universe. Episode 72, I believe. So today, I'm going to have a special guest. He's going to be coming right there. And three... Wait. Three... Wait, I can't count today. Now. Boom. That was magic. Or just good editing skills. I don't know which. So, I'm Pickle P, and you're... Thundermaster the Future. The Future Thundermaster on YouTube. So, Thundermaster here will be creating his own videos soon. We don't know when exactly, but who he knows? will be. Yeah, who knows? So, it's like the old saying, make your videos as soon as you possibly can. That's not an old saying. I realize that. Because they didn't have internet then. Yeah. But anyways, we are going to be starting with our normal thing with when we last saw the episode. Obviously, this is a late video. I should have posted it yesterday, which was Thursday, the day it was out. Obviously, I forgot. And Thundermaster here, who lives with me, didn't remind me. I wasn't supposed to. I know. So it's about a day and an hour-ish. Like a day and an hour after the episode. But I've watched it one more time before then, so I'd have it fresh in my memory. Hopefully you have it fresh in yours too. So, the episode, Back to the Barn, is basically Peridot telling Pearl, Garnet, Amethyst, Stephen already knows, but she's telling the Crystal Gems what the cluster was. So Stephen dresses up for Halloween or something. <laughs> so, because Halloween is basically in like a couple days, so he was all in his earth box with the cluster on the side, and basically Peridot simply told them that the cluster will explode out of the earth and that it totally won't look like a sock puppet. And it'll also kind of look like this. Boom! Yes. Would you like to explain what they did at the barn? They built stuff. Yes, like what? Like, give me a summary. So, when they get to the barn, Peridot... Peridot... Peridot tells it? Pearl that pearls are usually just standing around and help and not the head of anything. Yeah, so when they started building it, Pearl was like, hey, pearls should build this. They're just useless servants that are back on Homeworld. And Pearl obviously got really mad and they started hating each other. But obviously they hated each other before that because Pearl was the one who wa really wanted to poof her. Really wanted to poof her. Just like in Friendship. Exactly. You can watch that video too. Which I have posted. So, Steven then gets the idea to have a... Robot Contest. Or also known as the Robo Olympics. Obviously a copy off of the Olympics. So, Pearl, super tall robot that... Has two wheels as the feet and three fingered arms for her hands. Yes, three fingers. So, and then Peridot comes out with. Do you want to uh, say? A small but big robot. Like, what did it look like? It had a squared shape, a tiny square window. Didn't actually have a real window. And it had these. Claws. I think there's three, four, or probably five. Just two. Oh, two. <laughs> but that's okay. So, 
Peridot's is obviously a lot shorter, just like she is. That's why I'm glad I'm tall, and he's short. Hey, I'm not, not going to be short for long. For long. But, so, and then they start the Robo Olympics. They start with, what was it, um, speed? Yeah. They also have jumping, they have crushing, they have the chucking competition. Which probably hit hit somebody. Probably did. It probably hit someone really far away. So, they also had um, the laser or missiles that they shot. And... Paradox came out of its butt. Of course it did. Of course it did, kid. Yeah, I that part out. Of course it did, Thunder Master. Of course it did. So... Basically, he had the Robo Olympics. In the end, though, like everything happens in shows, it's a tie. We. And what do they do as a tiebreaker? They fight to the death. Well, not really the death, but they just fight. Like, destroy their robots and everything. Pearl was doing really good in the beginning, and then Peridot kind of took over and smashed her on the ground. And she uh, was like, oh yeah, now that I win, now I get to control everybody. And she was like, praise me, praise me, yay, I'm so happy. But then she wasn't so happy when she saw everyone running over to Pearl, saying, Pearl, are you okay? And Peridot just felt guilty. Or she looked guilty. Like she was like, aw, now I feel bad. And after that, they had basically... Peridot walked up to Pearl in the end and kind of apologized. And and held that screw thing backwards. Yeah, the drill. Kim, put that down. Put that down. Put that, Kim, put that down. That's a mess up. So, Pearl took her look out of use it the real way and basically the episode ended there. Okay, what were your favorite parts of what were your favorite parts of the episode? Do you want to think about it while I the say The very my... beginning. What about the beginning made it your favorite? When Stephen was dressing up as the cluster. Hmm. Usually, I think the end was funny because he was pretending the cluster was eating his hair. Yeah, that was funny. Mm. He was like, ah, oh, we're doomed. Well, my favorite part was, I really like computers and programming and stuff, so I really like the robots. I doubt, though, that in the real world, you wouldn't be able to build a robot that awesome in that short amount of time. But I bet they would really be able to build that, that kind of thing in real life. Obviously, with a lot more time on their hands. But, of course, they're gems. They can probably work really fast. Especially Paradox, since she's built so many things. So... Like her hands and feet? I don't think she built those. I actually think they, she just got them. But even if she did, she's a good builder. Pearl's a good builder. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Do you have anything to say? Um. Wait, what did you say? Do you have anything to say to like end, of, end it? Or before we end it? When I do come out, I'm going to be doing Minecraft videos and other informational things about, um... Minecraft? I already said Minecraft. Steven Universe? No. Mm -hmm. Probably... Some useful tips or origami? Oh yeah, origami. You told me origami. No, I didn't. Well... That ends it with our special guest. Three, two, one. Yep. That's all for today. I'm Pickle P. Subscribe for more. Comment below what you think. Like I had said in my last video, if you want to do, if you want me to review any anything else, I can do movies. Most movies, such only some. Just just some. They can't be like super new movies because then I'd have to pay for them, and I don't like to do that. I can do books, other TV shows. As long as they're appropriate for my age. 
Of course, this discludes blind, blind spot. I can start reviewing for the newer episodes. If you want me, you can comment below before my next, my, before Monday, and I will do a review for the new blind spot. But anyway, thanks guys. Subscribe for more. See you in my next video.